Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. It's almost afternoon here. It's about 1145. And we still have yet in the area that we are in. Look at me. I'm dry, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for your girl. It's a no makeup kind of work, kind of week. No makeup kind of couple of weeks. It's not happening. Um, but we are out with our friends. Say hey, friends. Hey. We are on our way to Value Village or the Goodwill um, in hopes of finding some clothing for church we we are just now starting to get some rains and the storm is dissipating but our area is devastated we keep watching news updates and things like that um with that being said we only packed four days worth of clothes and we didn't pack sunday clothes so we think we're still going to be able to get out for church tomorrow so we are on our way alana is reading because she's so engrossed in that book praise god um to see if we can find some church things and of course you know me I'm finding a thrift store wherever I can find it and um, so the plan for today is to go and thrift and see if I can get at least a dress for me a dress for Alana and a pair of pants for Jackson we have shoes that would that will work fine and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a perm for my hair and do my hair so I can finally take off this thing and uh, I lost my earrings I can't find those so I'm gonna get just a cheap thing of earrings so we're just going to thrift and um, I did want to say thank you so much. Um, very, 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 very kind subscriber has um, sent a couple of e-gift cards just for us while we're away to be able to make sure that we can get a few things here or there. Um, they sent a Walmart e-gift card and that has worked out for us to be able to get a few things. It's looking like um, based on the news reports that once we go back we're going to have to take food with us because no gas stations no grocery stores nothing is is happening right now there's no power it's like 10 days before power could be restored it might be more than that they won't even let the power online may go out until the the uh, winds are below 30 miles an hour and right now they're still gusting pretty bad even they're saying folks with generators are using them very, very sparingly because they are using up the gas and there's no gas. So it really, I don't want to say war zone because I've not been there. And, and my home was very safe and looked like everything was great. But the rivers have not crested and it's still raining. So we're looking at another possible 12, 24 hours, maybe more of rain. And then once that settles to see what the rivers are going to do. And we don't know where that water's going. So my house structurally is okay. Still don't know about flooding because um, my neighborhood is not flooded at the moment. My, my neighbor keeps sending me updates, so I'm thankful for that. So the kids and I, well, these girls who are having fun times at their house are going to the Goodwill or the Value Village. We're going to somebody's thrift store to find something. And we'll show you what we're able to find. And then we'll also show you what we packed um, to get out of the storm. So we'll keep you guys updated on what we're doing and thank you so much for all your prayers, well wishes, and thoughts as we journey through this Hurricane Florence. Do you want to look at skirts or dresses? Do you want to think skirts? That's a cute skirt. Oh, if we can find a shirt to go with that. That's cute. Mm, not really my style. Not, okay. okay, well, let's keep looking. Look but through here. Okay, let's go to dresses then. Because they might have something back here that we can. I do? Mom does? Okay. What about that one? With the, um, with the, um, that's a large though. That might fit mom. Oh, that's only 250 What in the world? come through on that Land's in right quick. Land's in large, 250. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. 250? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yep, that's the price. Even if I don't get that for church tomorrow, I think I'm gonna get this one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna pull this one just because of the price. Do y'all happen to have um, carts or buggies or anything like that? Yeah, we have buggies. Go up to the front, Alana, see if yeah, you can find us a buggy. Go, oh, over there. Where the poles are. Yeah, find us a buggy, honey. Uh, it's okay. Okay. It's fine. 
I don't normally try on when I come to places. Well, I let Alana just slip it over her head or yeah, something. That's yeah. Um, at, well, at Goodwill, we, I think, okay. on, she Do you think y'all could find... I'm looking for... Um, uh, um, like the rain jackets, that. too. <laughs> you're gonna rip it and then you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to buy it, girl. Oh, that's pretty. Let me see that one. Pull it out. small. Let me see if I don't But sometimes because of the material. Are you gonna wear it? No, because I don't, I think it's too much, too small for me for sure. I don't really like that. I don't like that. Where is she keeping it? It's cute. It is cute, girl. You like this one? With some pants? How about this one? I love that. You know what? Videos. Even even for Halloween, like if you wanted to do the go-go look, because go -go. it would be short with the boots, yeah. the go-go boots, I think it would be cute. Oh, that's kind of cute. That was like this one. Yeah. Look at it in the go mirror. look at it in the mirror. I think it's cute. Oh, it's so No, I like that one. But you have to look at the material. You have to look at the... Um... Did you get this far? Yeah, it looks a little Wait, crazy right now. Next level. just going to value village and we wanted to share with you the haul that we were able to get so this is a dress we saw for Alana I actually saw it for me but it fit her nicely it's a crown and ivy and it was 750 so we needed some church things we brought enough for four days thank you very much ma'am and sir excuse me photo bombed by the dogs off, off. ma'am off Good girl. Off. Goodbye. Off. Off and down. Confused. Okay, we had to put our little guess out. This next dress is very, very pretty. It has the pleats. I don't remember what the name brand was, but it ties in the back. It's off the shoulder. I mean, it's a um, sleeveless. Do you see what it is? It is a um, carry blue in a size medium. And so... Alana, hold that up a little bit. That's what it looks like. And it ties in the back. So we got that. We got more than one for church, but of course we will, um, we could just take these few things home. And then she got this black and white one. This is a John Paul Richard. Paul Richard. John Paul Richard. So it is, we like the um, pattern, but she liked the flowy bottom. So that is a cap sleeve. And that's what we got for Alana. 
Was that all we got for you? Okay. So for mom, so I wanted to show you, where's my big purse? Anywho, the big purse that I've been carrying around is huge. I mean, I ha I could fit my Bible, my my all of my minister books in here. And so it's good for traveling. And the reason I changed out my small red bag is because I needed to fit as much stuff in the car as I could. So going back home, my mom is not with me. So we, we now have an extra seat for things. But I knew we coming, we were, we were not going to need that seat. So I had to get a smaller purse. So I just picked up this one. It is still a pretty large bag because I am into large bags. But I can fit my Bible in here. But this is just a brown patent leather bag. This opens and then it has um, zippers. It has two zippered spaces. It is a access is what this brand is. I've never heard of it before, but it doesn't look worn. It actually looks pretty new, pretty good. No wear and tear, even on the um, straps. And that was $4.50, so we picked that up. Then I did not have any shoes. I just bought my brown flats. So these are a pair of naturalizers. They are a small chunky heel, almost like a kitty cat heel, but a little bit chunkier. They do have some of the leather on the side and then some of that canvas on the top. And I just needed something flat that I could wear. And then I can wear those when I get back home. Then I picked up, how much were those? They were $3. I think the naturalizers were $3. Yeah. As I'm filming this, we're getting a weather advisory here now. Okay, the next thing I was able to get was some jeans. And I did pick up a couple pairs of jeans. The only thing I brought were these leggings. And of course, leggings are okay for in the house. I did have on one pair of black pants when I came. We only packed four outfits. And we are continually washing those things. But to have laundry maybe go out for a couple of extra days picked up some jeans these are some just my size they are sizes 16 they're in the black they were 550 I picked up these are Charter Club I really do like these they're kind of more of a three-quarter length with a button on the side I like the um, the denim type so they were uh, 550 as well and then these are some Gloria Vanderbilt's these are full leg full length and they were probably around the same as well. Yeah, 550 each. So all of those were size 16. They fit nice. I had about six or seven pair that I tried on. And these were the three pair that seemed to work for us. So I did pick those up. For church, I picked up this black and white polka dot skirt. Does have like the uh, slip material underneath. But I actually had to get another slip because I am not comfortable. Like I need double layers of stuff. I don't want any see-throughs. And then I got, um, this one is a Coco, is it Coco Bianco? Yeah. To go with that for church tomorrow with the black shoes. And then I got this black and white pattern shirt, which was a, uh, what is this one? This is a Croft and Barrow. This was $4.50 as well. And I like the sleeves on that one because it just had the button sleeve there. So I really did like it that one that I think can go with the black jeans and then that one is a Karen Kane Essentials just a regular black it has a little bit of a stain there but I'm going to try to work that out with just some uh, stain room, spot remover and then I picked up this one shirt um, it's a t-shirt or a sports tee that just says at the heart of it all but it has never been worn so it's $1.50 and I think that's all we were able to pick up and then we got for Jackson because we did not find anything at the thrift store for Jackson it was just hit or miss and we really had to dig a lot and I'm not a digger if I can help it just for church we just picked up him this from Walmart it was a Wonder Nations uh, t-shirt and then a pair of Wonder Nations jeans and then he has tennis shoes and socks so we just picked up those um, for him to wear tomorrow other than that that is everything that we have for or from the thrift haul. Okay, you guys, so we wanted to share with you what we were able to pack. Um, 
leaving in preparation for the hurricane. So we only took, as far as clothing, we took one suitcase and everybody's clothes got into this one suitcase. We packed four outfits a piece, which is why we ended up having to go to Goodwill because we didn't know that we were gonna be here for Sunday. And we thought, hey, we'll just need a few, you know, we only need a few things. So let us share with you what we were able to pack in our suitcase. So one of the biggest things we did pack was a zillion books. We were able to fit those in. And we're actually using um, my Busy Bees and Me, uh, the homeschool channel on YouTube, most of the books from her reading list. So we just went to the library right before we went Monday night, Monday evening, because they stay open late on Mondays. And we picked out so many of her books and we just threw them in the suitcase and that was what we had. So each person has one jammy. And then um, we have probably, I think, six underwear, maybe alone. Six underwear. And then each person has four outfits. So we were able to get Mom's, Alana's, Jackson's. And I brought a lot of, um, let me see, where's Mama's things? I bought, these are just regular like um, dress pants. These are just black pants. And then a couple of camis to go under shirts. Then I bought one pair of jeans and a pair of sweatpants with a top on it. And then I bought another t-shirt that I actually was wearing with this jean skirt that I got on right now. And then I had on when we left my red toms. And then each person I made bring their tennis shoes because we weren't sure what the weather was gonna be like. And they say in a hurricane to have, or a bad storm, have at least one sturdy pair of shoes. And I also have just a pair of tan colored shoes that could go with anything. So we ended up probably with about two or three pairs of shoes each and three outfits, lots of undies, and one pair of jammies. So let us show you this other bag. So that was our main bag. And then we'll show you this bag right here. Can you pick that one up and set it back on top of that? Okay, this was another travel bag. So in this one travel bag, instead of everybody bringing their own toiletry bags, we ended up packing. And in this toiletry bag, we have toothbrushes, deodorant, um, lotions, sanitary, toothpaste. There's wash and soap and stuff back there. And then um, more sanitary. We brought one big bag of main medicines, all of mom's supplements and Jackson's asthma meds. And then in here, because we got to get our hair did, we got shampoo and conditioner, um, what is it, detangler, hair uh, grease, combs. And then I brought my Carrie L meal planner, which is here, my keto, two keto cookbooks, my sermons, and then my um, ladies' Bible study book. I also brought my Bible and I bought my um, the star book for ministers in case there were any ministry opportunities that I needed to help with while we were on the road. So pretty much this is everything we bought while we were on the road and we are trying to stay very confined to you know this small space so that we're not got all our crap everywhere. So that is pretty much all the things that we brought with us. If you're joining Ladies Bible Study, this is the book we're working on, Lessons I Learned in the Dark, Steps to Walking by Faith, Not by Sight by Jennifer Rothschild. So if you're joining us, remember that's Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, barring the fact that we have power. If we have power, we will meet. If we don't have power, we will not meet. So I have gotten my hair done. I um, did put a relaxer in it, and then I just bunned it. I bunned up my hair and then I did get some earrings that I can wear for tomorrow. So I already look 
tons better than I did when I was filming the first um, early shots of the video this morning. I went over to my other friend's house and did my hair and then I grabbed my shower so I could just rinse everything out and do it all at one time. And then I went ahead and washed Alana's hair and then just braided her back up so that she, you know, this is in the face. It's mom, don't film me. But this is, um, this will keep us for at least another week, two weeks or whatever. So anywho, that's just, we wanted to share with you our thrift haul and the reason we were out buying a few things. We spent about $70 at the thrift store today just getting a couple of things that we really needed. Looks like we are not going to be having power at least for 10 days, maybe more. And our school system where I work is already out all of next week. We have already gotten notified that we are already out all of next week. So, we just don't know where we are now because the storm is so slow moving. We still are just getting some initial wind bands and some rain, but not a lot is happening here yet. We're supposed to get hit about 2 a.m. in the morning. So we're still just waiting. Um, but in the meantime, while we're waiting, everybody is doing well. And we just wanted to thank you so much for stopping by our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye.